Hello, students. Good evening. Good evening, Miss. Good evening, Miss. Hello, how are you? Good evening, everybody. How are you doing in this new day? I'm doing okay, and you? I am doing good. Very happy to be here with all of you. All day in, in homework. <laughs> all there were all day was you were doing homework. <laughs> yes. Yeah, but thank God you finished, right? That's the most important I fin thing. I finished the the, the second unit or or que sería uh, uh, tal como lo recomendó. The, se uh, the second section, you say. Second section. So you you uh, finish section number two of the yes. yeah. of the platform modules. Yeah, I think uh, you can call it sections. It has five different sections and it is very recommendable. I mean, if you go and if you can advance more during the weekend, for example, okay. you can advance. And if you get a problem, then you can mark it there in your notebook, for example. And in the next class or in the chat, you can ask, hey, I have difficulties with this. Because uh, the platform is very friendly, right? You can see the exercise, you can see the video, you can see the conversation, and then you do the exercise. That it's very related to what they mention in the conversations. And if you still have difficulties with that, then you can consult in the chat. You can send a message there and we will be very glad to help you. Very good, thank you. Yeah, maybe. I like, your, I like your pronunciation. It's very good. It's very clear. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah, I think uh, with the experience, you get to have the, the pronunciation for each level uh, of students that you have. I sometimes okay. forget and I start talking very fast, but then I just lower back and they say like, hey, calm down. And then I go back to the to the level that I should have. Well, welcome uh, everybody. I can see more of you here. That it's pretty awesome. I can see uh, Jorge Antonio, Briselda, Nubia, Adelia, Iris, Kelvin, Manuel, Evelyn, Oscar, and Janet already here with all of us. So I think it's the moment for us to start. Can you tell me a little bit of what we did yesterday in class? health problems we talk about health problems right yesterday it was a class on which we talk about health problems remember also that if you have any difficulty at the moment of connecting you can check the class in the youtube channel right you have the link in the information that you were sent so you have the information there you can go to the list of youtube you have the link there and you can check the class and you can feel like if you were in the previous class. So there is no way for you to say, hey, I lost the class, right? There is always an option for you to watch it. It's on Facebook, it's on YouTube, so you can check it there. So yesterday we talked about health problems. Health problems and the different ways to express it. How do you answer to the question, how do you feel? I feel sick, I don't feel good. I feel sick, I don't feel good. Okay, so that is one of the ways yeah. that we can answer. That uh, I feel sick, I don't feel very good. That it's something that we were, check that we were checking on yesterday. Right, just a quick reminder, practice your English, be respectful, keep the cameras active, advance on the platform and cooperate in the WhatsApp group. If you finish the exercise, maybe you can help someone else. Or if you haven't finished, you can check on the exercises that are coming. So yesterday we were talking about health problems and situations about health. Today, we are going to use infinitives and models to talk about health problems. So yesterday I gave you a little homework to practice this conversation and I send it to you on the chat. 
Did you practice it? Be honest. Oh, teacher, I forgot it. <laughs> Hello, Luis Hernan, welcome. Hello, Hello you teacher. Did, you didn't practice the conversation. Hmm. So it is the moment for us to do it, right? If you couldn't practice yesterday, it's okay. We are going to do it today. We are going to practice right now. So the conversation was about, a, was between, sorry, John and Craig. And they were talking about different health situations. And John said, hi, Craig, how are you? Not so good. I have a terrible cold, right? He has a cold. Really? That's too bad. You should be at home in bed. It's really important to get a lot of rest. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> And have you taken anything for it? No, I haven't. Well, it is sometimes helpful to eat garlic soup. Just chop a whole head of garlic and cook it in the chicken stock. Try it. It really works. Yuck, that sounds awful. Would you like to eat some garlic soup if you are sick? No. Yes, it's delicious. <laughs> yeah, garlic soup, garlic no. soup. And they say that garlic soup is for the cold. So if you are sick and if you have a cold, then garlic soup is very good. Or chicken soup with a lot of garlic. But in this case, garlic it says... Only, only in bread. Oh, <laughs> only in, in yes. bread and in the restaurant. <laughs> only in bread, yes. In, in bread and in the restaurant with some pizza next to it right and that's it yes you can say yes garlic bread mm -hmm. well so in this case she recommends it uh, for the cold she uh, the person has a cold it is not that bad as having the flu but a cold is like in a lower level and it's very common that if people are sick they go to work and they shouldn't be at work not right now in the pandemic, right? If you are sick, you have to be in your house because if not, all the floor is going to be sick. All the site is going to be sick. All the, all the people at the office are going to be sick. So it says, hi, Craig, how are you? Can you practice with me? Hi, hi, Craig, hi, how, Craig. Are you? Hi, how are you? How are you? Not so good. Not so good. Not so good. Not so good. I have a terrible cold. I have a terrible, a terrible, terrible cold. cold. Really? 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 That's really? too bad. That's too That's bad. Too bad. Too bad. Too bad. You should be at home in bed. You should, you should be, be at home, home, in home in bed. It's really important to get a lot of rest. It's, it's really, really, really important a lot, lot, a lot of fresh. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're, you're right. right. You're right. Remember that you are sick, right? If you are sick, you don't say, yeah, you're right. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah you're right. <laughs> and have you taken anything for it? And have you, how taken, you anything you taken anything for it? For it? For it? For it? No, I haven't. No, no, I, I have not well, 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 it's sometimes helpful to eat garlic soup. It's, it's sometimes to eat garlic, garlic soup. Garlic, garlic, garlic soup. 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 Yeah, because soap, soap is the one that you use when you shower. When you take a shower, you use soap. Oh. Oh. Right? Javon. So, but if you are going to eat it, it is soup. 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 Okay, it's sometimes helpful to eat garlic soup. Sometimes helpful to eat garlic soup. Just chop a whole head of garlic. Just chop a whole head of garlic. 
and cook it in chicken stock. And cook it in chicken stock. Okay, now we're going to give the complete phrase. Just chop a whole head of garlic and cook it in chicken stock. Yes. Just chop a whole head of garlic and cook it in chicken stock. Try it. Try it. Try it. Try it. It really Try works. It, it really, really works. works. Yuck. 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 That, that sounds awful. That, that sounds, sounds awful. awful. Do you know the meaning of awful? Horrible. Horrible. Right. I think I think bad is here, but awful it's like here. Awful. It's like Ugh. awful. That sounds awful. Like eat the garlic just like that. It's going to help you. <laughs> no, thank you. That sounds awful. You say good. So let's say Janet Janira and Oscar Romero. Can you help me with the conversation? Yes. Go ahead. Hi, Craig. How are you? Not so good. I have a terrible cold. Really? That's too bad. You should be at home in bed. It's really important to get a lot of rest. Yeah, you're right. And have you taken anything for it? No, I haven't. Well, it's, it's something helpful to eat garlic soup. Just chop up a whole head of garlic and cook it in a chicken stock. Try it. It really works. Yuck, that sounds awful. <laughs> Thanks. That sounds Very awful, music. Great Janet. job. Very nice. Excellent job. Two claps for you. Reactions for your friends. Remember that you can choose the reactions there in the platform. So uh, uh, people can feel motivated to continue participating. Let me see. Janet and Oscar, can you choose another volunteer, each of you? Choose one person each, una persona cada uno. Okay, okay. Jorge. And... Okay. Gustavo. And, 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 Araceli. Jorge ah. and Araceli, go ahead. Yeah. Okay. Um... Hi, Craig. How are you? Not so good. I have a terrible cold. Really? That's too bad. You should be at home in bed. It's really important to get a lot of rest. Yeah, you're right. And have you taken anything for it? No, I haven't. Well, it's sometimes helpful to eat garlic soup. Just chop up a whole head of garlic and cook it in chicken stock. Try it, it really works. Yeah, that sounds awful. Very nice job, two claps for you. Very good, thank you. Reactions for your friends, remember they are very important. The last two people that we're going to have are Briselda and Gerardo. Go ahead. Um, hi, Craig, how are you? Not so good. I have a terrible cold. Really? That's too bad. You should be at home in bed. It's really important, important to get a lot of rest. Yeah, you're right. And have you taken anything for it? No, I haven't. Well, it's sometimes helpful to eat garlic soup. Just chop a whole head of garlic and cook it in chicken stock. Try it. It really works. Yuck. That sounds awful. <laughs> Excellent job. Very good. Excellent. Hey, you are improving your pronunciation and that's fantastic. Very nice. Well, so these are some of the health problems that we were mentioning yesterday. This is just to catch up a little bit on what we did in the previous class. 
So we were mentioning the different things that you can suffer, for example, a headache, a backache, an earache, uh, a stomachache, a turic, the flu, fever, diarrhea, sore eyes, itchy eyes, nosebleed, the hiccups, an insect bite, insomnia, stress, migraine, sore muscles, a burn, sore throat, a cough, a cold, cramps, a broken arm, a stiff neck, a leg cramp, and chicken pox. These were some of the things that we studied yesterday as part of the vocabulary that are going to be necessary for today's class. So in the conversation, you might have checked that you use these three forms of sentences. It's important, it's sometimes helpful. It is a good idea, right? We were mentioning these three things. It's important, it's sometimes helpful, and it's a good idea, right? And we saw it here in the conversation. Can you tell me, okay, Briselda, yes? I think the teacher, what is the meaning um, helpful? Helpful, okay. util, yes. util. Thank you. Helpful. So in the case that we have here, we have uh, some information here. Say so like, uh, it's really important, right? It's really important. It's sometimes helpful. And um, it's a good idea, right? Those were the vocabulary that we're going to include in today's explanation. So we have it right here. When you say it is important, after this, you are going to have an infinitive. What are the infinitives? Are the forms of the verb that start with to. To get, to eat, to take, to drink, right? Those are the infinitive forms. In this case, we have these three. It is important too. It's helpful too. It's a good idea too. If I ask you, for example, hey, students, I have a terrible headache. What will be your recommendation? I have a headache. It's like, ah, oh, my head. Don't call me to take, to take, to take, to take, to take, very good. To take a pill. It is important, it is important to take some pills. It is. To take acetaminophen. Uh-huh. Or if you know a very... To sleep very take much. A switch. To sleep well, right? It is Wait. important uh -huh. to sleep well. Rest. It is important to rest, right? To rest. <clears throat> so in these cases, you can give different recommendations, right? Starting with this, it is important to drink a lot of water. Maybe you are dehydrated. So that's why you are having this problem with your head. Or you say like, teacher, it is important to rest a lot. It is important to sleep well. It is sometimes helpful to listen to relaxing music, <laughs> to have, I don't know, to have some natural um, medications or solutions, right? It's a good idea to what to exercise a little bit so you can relax or to dance a little bit or to listen to good music. So that is the way you use it. And after this one, you use the infinitive forms, right? It is important to get a lot of rest. It is sometimes helpful to eat garlic soup. It's a good idea to take some vitamin C. Do you get this one very familiar? It is from the exercise on the platform. It's a good idea to take or to take some vitamin C or to take some only. And in this case, the recommendations are for a cold, right? What is the recommendation for a cold? What is the recommendation for a stomachache? Imagine that one of your kids said, mom, I have a stomachache. What would be your answer? It's important answer? to see a doctor. 
It is important, it's important to, to see a dog. Some, it is important to take some. Uh, yes. Uh, say, uh, to take pep, pep to small. <laughs> to take some pepto, right? To take some uh, some alcatelte, right? It is important it's a good to idea to take. It's important some, eh? to eat uh, guayabo. <laughs> guayabo. Hey, guayabo tea. They say that it's very useful for the Esencia coronada. Esencia coronada, right? If you have the pain there, it's like, oh, drink this. Yeah, is to take some menta. To take uh, to to eat or to drink some mint tea. It is very it's very useful. Now with COVID-19 pandemic, <laughs> what it's good for a sore throat. Right now, uh, if you have a sore throat, call to one to drink, uh, it's tea. Important. Go to the hospital. Go to the hospital. It's very important. Tea, jengibre. To drink ginger. Ginger. Ginger tea. Ginger tea. Ginger tea. Okay. And if it G continues, call 132 and they are going to send you some medicine. <laughs> yes. Yeah, call the COVID number because if it is sore throat and fever, for sure, you have a visitor. Sorry. And it's a good idea to get some medicine from the drugstore, right? Ahora si va a la farmacia, lo ven así con cara de... I have something here. Hmm. And it is important to drink lots of liquids, right? And chicken soup. It is important to drink lots of liquids and chicken soup for the sore throat. So my kids, tell me, I have some situations here. I have some situations. Mr. Oscar, tell me, you have your hand up. Yes, uh, uh, the um, lamina anterior. Uh, uh, in the previous page, you say? The preview news, uh, preview paper. Okay, uh -huh. uh, the word cold, the word cold, uh, the meaning is Free or, uh, but, but in this case, uh, uh, accompanado de, 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 de otra cosa sería como catarro. Uh, uh, yes. Uh, Maybe uh, resfriado. Resfriado. Yes, resfriado. that's the meaning. Yesterday, yeah, uh, I was explaining that the flu, the flu is when you have this very, very hard situation and you are very ill. Right. When you have the flu, you have a headache, you have runny nose, you have all the problems. That's the flu because it's in a high level. But the cold, it's just like uh, a little bit of runny nose and some throat, but some throat problems. But it's not that uh, it's not like an emergency, right? In this case. Yes. Tell me, Mr. Oscar. Oh, you got the idea. That's perfect. Thank you. Okay. Sorry for my anunciadora. If you listen to it, that's my little dog. <laughs> my little dog. It's like, like this big. So that's why it sounds very hard. So uh, let's continue. In this case, I have some situations here and I have some problems, some health problems that I want to show you. What is your best recommendation for each of them. I have one here that says a backache. For a backache, my recommendation to be use a heating pad, un parche de calor, right? Use a heating pad. I am not going to tell you, get some exercise. If you have a backache, right? Uh, you're going to end up the worst. And I cannot tell you to take some vitamin C because that it's not going to help you at all, right? So maybe take some diclofenac or something that it's going to help you, but not some vitamin C. So in this case, the best recommendation will be to use a heating pad. What about for the headache? We have take some vitamin C, an aspirin, or some good advice. Take some aspirin. Take some aspirin. Take some aspirin. Take some aspirin, right? That would be take the best. 
What about for a bad cold? Un resfriado de esos malvados, mal cuidados. For a bad cold. Go to bed. Go, go to, to bed, bed and rest. rest. Go to bed and rest. You are not going to see a dentist, right? For a cold. And for sure, you are not going to take some good advice. In this case, take some good advice is like, escucha buenos consejos. It's not going to be very useful for a cold. What about an insect bite? What can you do if you have an insect bite? What anti-itch cream on it? Anti cream and on it. Love Number one. In this case, I will go for an anti-itch cream. So in this case, it's this type of cream that you put in the bite and it's going to help you uh, to avoid the problems. Teacher, how, how do we traduce that word, that word, anti-itch? It will be like anti-allergica. It will be like a pomada or unguento anti-allergico. Okay, thank you. That will be anti-itch, yes. And for the hiccups, what is a good recommendation for the hiccups? Drink lots of water. Hot water. Drink uh, sips of hot water. Take some cold medicine. It's not going to be very helpful. And chop up some garlic. It's not going to help you at all. They, some people say, uh, close your nose for a moment and drink water and drink sips of water. They have a lot of uh, how to so ways to solve the problem. But in this case, for the hiccups, drink a lot of hot water. So let's go to the next part of this. I am going to ask you the question and you are going to give me the answer. Tell me, I am going to show you the questions on, and how you do it uh, for you to uh, follow me. The question is, what should you do for, and I'm going to give you the problem, and you answer, it is important, it is sometimes helpful, or it's a good idea, and the compliment, okay? Okay, my kids, yes? Okay. okay. What should I do for a backache? It's important to use it's a important. heating pad. It is important to use a heating pad. It is important to use a heating important. pad. What should I do for an insect bite? A good idea is put uh, uh, anti itch anti cream it's on, it, on it. Excellent. What should I do for a headache? Anti itch cream. What should I do for a headache? It's important. It's important to take some aspirin. Good. What should I do for the hiccups? It's a good idea to drink lots of hot water. Excellent. What is good or what should I do for a bad cold? It's important go to the bed and rest. 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 It go is important to, rest. to go to the bed and rest. Excellent. So let's go here. And for this exercise, we are going to work together. I am going to show you the exercise and you are going to do it on your own. Right? You are going to do it uh, individually. And here you have the option, right? The starting point, what should I do for? And you have the three options, right? It is important too. It is sometimes helpful. It's a good idea too. And here you have the options for a sore throat, for a cup, for a backache, fever, toothache, a bad headache, a burn, and the flu. And here you have the advice. You have to choose one advice for the problem. Okay, and you are going to complete the sentence. We are not going to do the eight situations because it is going to take too much time, but you can take four situations, four situations, you write the question and the answer. Okay, is it clear? Yes. 
Perfect. Only four. Okay, what should I do for? And you choose four situations and four answers. Let's do it. Remember to work on your notebook. Sorry, teacher, what is ointment? Ointment is unguento. Ah, okay. Thanks. Like like when you practice sports and they put it there before going to the game. So that is unguento. <laughs> <laughs> unguento, right? Have ointment. <laughs> yes. No. The flu, a fever. Okay, some onion, drink a lot of liquid, go to bed, a rest, put a health in, heading bed, put under cold, under cold water. Uh, I had a question, teacher. Uh, can be more uh, one uh, advice? Uh, can yes. be two advice? Yes. Okay. It can be two or more advices for the problem. Yeah, there are many options for H. Yes. Okay, Araceli finished. That's very good. Some of your friends sent some answers in the chat and that's fantastic because you can keep the examples there. That's very good. But we're going to use your answers right now. Okay, so I am going to give you one more minute for you to finish your advice. And um, then we are going to go to work in many groups and you are going to provide your answers to the group, okay? We are going to go to the different groups and you are going to read your answers. You are going to say, what should I do for a sore throat? Well, it is important to go to bed and rest. And then another person is going to read and et cetera, et cetera, okay? So we're going to go to the groups in some minutes and you are going to share your answers with the group. So we can do it faster and we can take less time if you do it in many sections. Is it clear what we're going to do? Yes. Perfect. So I think that you have worked in groups before. I don't have to explain you that much. You are going to receive a message 
and you click on aceptar and then you are going to be moved to the different groups, okay? So okay. let's go to the groups and share your answers with your friends. Remember, no Spanish in the groups, only English, okay? Let's do it. Okay, let's do it. Let's go to the rooms. You are receiving the invitation. Okay, accept the invitations, please, to go to the different rooms. Okay, so all of the groups are complete. I am missing Manuel to enter to the rooms. Manuel, did you receive the message for the group? Okay. So I think all the students are in the different groups right now. Okay, okay. Great. Manuel, do you have any problem to enter to the groups? Oh, it's right there. No. Okay, so let's go and check the different groups. Go, go ahead. Carlos, Carlos, that should, uh, the song, the, what should, what should the sortro, sortro. Okay. It's Carlos. important. Uh, Linda or, or Marta or Delia. Um, it's important it's, to drain lot of liquid. Okay. Important to get some medicine. Mm -hmm. Or okay. it's a. Uh, Good idea to take some vitamin C. Vitamin C. Okay, continue working. Vitamin C. Continue working. And remember that you have to read the examples that you created. Okay, los examples, los ejemplos que ustedes crearon son los que tenemos que leer. Okay, good. Let's continue yeah. working. I'm going to check on the next group. Okay. Okay, okay, very good. Uh, the next Julia? part is found. <laughs> the next part, Nubia? Uh, okay, uh, my part. Uh, okay, go, go ahead, go ahead, Nubia. In the number three, um, what shall I do for a uh, uh, bakash? It's important. Um, it is good good idea to um, to put a hidden pad on it. It's correct. Yeah. Okay. Continue. Uh, only, continue. Only, okay. Continue, good, continue, good. continue reading your case. examples. Remember, there are four examples on each. Okay. For example, so continue practicing and I'm going to come back in a second, okay? Okay. Okay, thank you. Okay, in my case, uh, what should I do for a
Hello, hello. Okay. Hello. What examples are you sharing? Almost all. Almost all. You share almost all of them. And Kevin, did you share your examples? Kevin and Boris, did you finish sharing your examples? Yes, I finished. <laughs> yes, 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 you say I finished. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I have a trouble to pronounce it. I don't say how do you say. Okay, the pronunciation is vitamin. 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 So like take some vitamin C. So that would be the correct pronunciation of it. Take some vitamin okay. C. Vitamin. Yes, vitamin. vitamin. Okay. okay. Okay, Mr. Luis, did you share your examples? Uh, what should what should I do for a fever? It for is a, a fever. good uh -huh. it is a good idea to take some aspirin. It's a good idea to take some aspirin. Good, very good. So let's see. We are going to I am going to go to the next room. So if you have, if you, if you finish already, we are going to go back to the class in a second. Okay. So finish sharing some other examples and I'm going to call you back to the class in a moment. Listen. Listen to relaxed music. To listen to relaxing music. What for? For uh, insomnia. For insomnia, yes. <laughs> I think insomnia is one of the worst situations in life. And if you have insomnia, go to work in the platform. <laughs> yeah. Do you have insomnia? Do you, do you suffer from insomnia, Araceli? I have several years. I, I, I suffer. So if once you get insomnia, open the platform and do the English exercises. <laughs> so you take advantage of the time. Or if not, with a cup of, with a cup of uh, milk. With a cup of uh, cold, with a cup of hot milk, and it will be very, very useful. Cookies. And some cookies and a piece of cake. <laughs> and that will be a pajama party. So I am going to go to the last group, uh, students, and we're going to go back to the class, OK? OK. Finish sharing. Con nosotros? Miguel. Ah, OK. Um, y la de Miguel, ya, ya las había dicho también. No es que no hay nada tampoco. No, Miguel and Manuel. Maybe because of the rain, you didn't listen. Yes. Oh. <laughs> no, sorry, I have a you. problem and I, and I got to, to solve it. So to solve it, sorry, uh, uh, I lost the last 10, 10 minutes of the class, sorry. Yeah, maybe it was because of the rain. Well, if you finish sharing, we're going to go back to the main session and we're going to share together, okay? Okay. Okay, okay. let's go back. Okay. Let's go back. Welcome back, my dear students. I know some of you maybe had difficulties with the internet connection and everything because of the rain, because it's raining really hard. But we are back, yeah. so we are back here. Yeah, I can listen to the thunders here in your microphones <laughs> and I listen to it right here. So it's raining very, very hard. Okay, let's go back to what we were doing. And we were sharing about uh, some health problems. And I am going to ask different volunteers to read and you can share one of your answers with the class, okay? Oh, Evelyn Mariela, can you share one from the ones that you created? Okay, uh, what should I do for uh, a pond? It's a good idea to put some ointment on it. Very good job. Thank you. Two claps for you. Very nice. 
Let's go with Mr. Carlos Polanco. Give me one of your examples. Uh, what should I do for a bad headache? It's a good idea to put a heating pad on it. It's a good idea to put a heating pad on it, right? Un parche. <laughs> yes. On I the am. head. <laughs> no, but headache, what a headache. A headache, a bad headache. It's bad, a, bad headache. Bad headache. A bad headache, right? Un terrible right. dolor de cabeza. Let's see, Mr. Humberto. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's why I was doubting. Yeah, I confused like, the back. <laughs> ah, yeah, I was doubting. I said like, well, maybe uh, uh, una compresa caliente yeah, might yeah. help, I said, but yeah. Uh, so okay. what would be the solution for a bad headache? Yeah, uh, it's uh, uh, to drink uh, pills or in this case, uh, to take some aspirin. To take some aspirin and to drink or to drink pin, pills or medicine. Briselda, yeah. please yeah. tell me one of the situations and one advice. Uh, yeah, what should I do for a tooth headache? A toothache. Yes. Toothache. Okay. Um, it is is it is important to see a dentist. It's important to see a dentist, right? He's the only one that can fix the problem. Marta. Can you give me one problem in one situation? What should I do for the fever? Uh -huh. It's important to put in the under cold water. Okay, for the fever, it's important to put it under cold water, right? You have to take a shower. Mr. Humberto Jaco, tell me. Your hand is up. Okay. What should I do for the flu? Uh -huh. mm. It, it is a good idea to taste some vitamin C. It's a good idea to take some vitamin C. Excellent. Linda, go ahead. What should I do for a bomb? Um, it's a good idea to put some ointment um, on it. It's a good idea to put some ointment on it. Very good. Manuel Sanchez, go ahead. Okay, what should I do for a bore? Uh -huh. It's a good idea to put some ointment on it. Excellent. And my last volunteer is going to be Nubia. What should, what should I do for a cup? Uh, it's, it's a good idea. It's a good idea um, to see a doctor. To see a doctor, right? It is very necessary. See a doctor. It's a good idea to see a doctor. Very good. Right? Remember the pronunciation is should. What should I do for? And then you have a sore throat, a cough, a backache, a fever, a toothache, a bad headache, a burn, or the flu. Right? And you say it's important to take some vitamin C. It's some, it is sometimes helpful to go to bed and rest. It's a good idea to take some aspirin or to see a doctor. Well, in the previous section, we check a conversation, right? In the, the, at the beginning of the class, and I'm going to show it here, we shared a conversation, right? You remember it? Yes, right? Yes. So now that you have this vocabulary about these uh, different uh, suggestions or recommendations, we are going to work in couples and we are going to work in a conversation talking about a health problem. And you are going to tell me, hi, Nati, how are you? I'm oh, not so good. I have a terrible cold uh, or I have a terrible backache. Really, that's too bad. You should... Uh, get some ointment for the muscles and it's really important to rest. Hey, you are right. Have you taken anything for it? No, I haven't. Well, it's sometimes helpful to drink some diclofenac. Hey, it really works. 
Oh, thank you very much. I am going to try it. So that's the idea that we are going to do and we're going to create the conversation. So right now we are going to screenshot it. Take a picture of the conversation, please. Take a picture of the conversation because in a very quick way, you are going to work in couples to see if you can uh, create an original conversation using the information that we have started in the class, okay? So with your couple, you are going to create a mini conversation using the vocabulary that we have started today, okay? We are going to create the couples. I have the couples already and we are going to go to the little rooms and with your couple, I need you to create the conversation, okay? We have five minutes for this, so please let's work. Go ahead. Let's go, let's go, good. All of you are entering to the different rooms. That's fantastic. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Nubia, Miguel, we are missing you to enter to the rooms and practice. Great, 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 great. So everybody has been assigned to the different sections. Okay, I have only Briseida. Hi. Hi, Briseida. You haven't entered to the room? I am going to move you to the room, okay? Okay, accept the invitation, please, to enter to the room. Okay, okay, there you go. Thank you, Briseida. Hello. Hello, I send you an invitation to enter to the room. I don't know what happened. Um, my son fell us uh, in safe mode yeah because it says uh, uh, that you haven't entered to the room so your friend is waiting for you i am going to i am going to move you again okay 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 <laughs> and now araceli is not there Hello. Hi, Hello. Araceli. Hello. You Hi. haven't entered to the room and now Briselda is waiting for you. No, I, I, I enter. I talk with Marta. Okay. So, uh -huh. hopefully all of them are just there. Let me see. Well, I am going to check if you finish already, I am going to bring everybody back. Okay. Marta. Mm -hmm. So maybe because of the of the internet, they had difficulties. But if you are here, you are going to practice with me right now. Hi, Araceli. Okay. How are you? Hi. Not so good. I have a terrible headache. Oh, really? That's too bad. You should uh, rest a little bit. It is important to sleep well. Yeah, you're right. And have you taken anything for it? No, I haven't. Well, it is sometimes helpful to drink some acetaminophen, to take some acetaminophen. It really works. 
Oh, really? Thank you. Okay, very good. So welcome back to all the rest. It's uh, very nice to have you here. And we're going to listen to a couple of couples, okay? All of them are coming back. That's great. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. Welcome back to the class. I need couples who volunteer to present. Couples, couples, couples to volunteer. If not, it will be finger cratic and I will have to choose you. ¿Quiénes serán los primeros valientes voluntarios? Veamos. Evelyn, try. We tried. Okay, okay. Evelyn, Evelyn and Oscar, go ahead. The stage Evelyn. is yours. Wait, 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 wait a minute, please. Solo déjenme. Uh, wait a minute. Okay. Go. Go, okay, Evelyn. Hi, You're Joan. Oscar, how are you? Not so good. I have a terrible uh, fever. To take some aspirin. It's really important to get the rest. Okay. Uh, yeah. You. Uh, uh, you're right. And have you taken anything for you? No, I haven't. Well, if something helpful to put something cold on your head, it really works. Oh, thank you, Evelyn, Mariela, for your advice. Very good. Excellent job. Very nice. Great job. You see, the volunteers did it very, very well. Let's see. Mr. Jorge Antonio, who was your couple? Berto. Humberto, hey, poor Humberto is having problems because of the rain. Uh, can you try it? Sorry, 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 I don't listen to it. It's because it's raining a lot, so that's why oh, you're you are forgiven. Hey. Okay, perdonado, just because of the rain. Ah, let's see, Sandra Yasmin, who was your couple? Ah, uh, let me see. Uh, Manuel? Manuel. Villegas. Manuel Villegas. Yeah. Go ahead. Yes, and Gerardo. <laughs> and Mr. Gerardo. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay, Manuel, uh, beginning. Okay. Uh, hi, Jasmine. How are you? Mm, hi, Manuel. Um, I'm very bad. I have a horrible flu and fever. Really? That's so bad. You should go to bed and rest helpful and take some uh, vitamins. Yeah, maybe I have to take some of vitamins and I really think that I have to go home now. Yes, it's sometimes helpful. Uh, you recommend me uh, I have to take something or something uh, medicine or something food or something tea or something drink something, something? and anything <laughs> anything <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's something helpful to take um, <sighs> um I forget the name for this. Um, ah, sorry, I forget the name. Um, oh. Chicken, chicken soup. Uh -huh. chicken, ah, soup. chicken soup. You can take some hot chicken soup, and you see your your feel right soon. Oh, okay. Thank you, Manuel, for your recommendation. Thank you. Bye -bye. Thank, thank you, Manuel, for your recommendations. And thank you, Gerardo, for adding the extra information, right? Remember the pronunciation of vitamins. Vitamins, okay? It's not vitamins, it's vitamins. Well, students, time flight when you're having fun. It is time to go. 
but it is very nice to share every single night with all of you. Tomorrow, we're going to continue working uh, on the classes. Remember to advance on the platform as much as you can. And I will be very glad to see you tomorrow at the same time. Have a beautiful night. Rest a lot. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Good, Good, Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night, everyone. Bye-bye.